Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode of NotAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at the Sony Tablet S. It is the 16GB uh, version and I must say it's one of the most beautiful looking tablets that we have on the market. Um, you know, bar none, I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. It looks, it looks like a folded over magazine, you know, you can see the way this black plastic just goes all the way around. It's, it's a beautiful design and it's so convenient to hold. When you hold it, it feels natural. Um, and when you view it on a flat surface, you've got the angle as well, so it's already sort of looking at you. It really is a smart design, and it's eye-catching. Now, to give you a bit of a rundown on the hardware of this, it's a, uh, it's a 1 gigahertz processor, 1 gig of RAM, 16 gig hard drive, as I mentioned, um, Wi-Fi only. There's no 3G yet. Um, we're hoping that that comes soon. I currently have a 3G tablet, so I was, um, you feel a little lost without it. I mean, unless you've got, you know, Unless you've got, you know, another Android phone which you can hotspot, or, or even an iPhone or anything like that, once you're on the road with this, you're kind of stuck to your own um, devices, so it's a bit tricky. Um, other things, you know, GPS as standard, obviously, Wi-Fi, which we have to have, um, Bluetooth. It's got a VGA camera on the front and a five-megapixel camera on the back. No flash, so probably not the best thing to replace your camera with. Um, on the side here, we've got an SD card slot, which is a full-size SD card slot, which I appreciate. Take photos on your camera, take the card out, plug it straight in, look at pictures, videos straight away, which is awesome. Um, the headphone jack is here, and on this side, we've got the power buttons, volume buttons as well. On each side, you've got some small speaker holes, just for the audio, obviously. And uh, at the very bottom is the, the charging connector. Where is it? There it is. The charging connector is just there. Um, anything else I can say about it right now? About 598 grams, to be exact. And uh, the biggest differentiator of this tablet to any tablet that you will see is that it's got an infrared remote on the front. Now, you're probably thinking, great, I don't own a Sony TV or I don't own any Sony stereos. What am I going to do with it? You can actually control almost any device which has an uh, infrared sensor. I'll show you that software because I think it's the one of the coolest things about this tablet is that it can actually be your universal remote for home. So let's have a look at this thing now. All right, so this is the uh, this is the tablet. Now you can really sort of see just how thin and quite nice looking this device is. Um, I didn't quite show you before. Let me just open this cover where it reveals the uh, full SD card slot and obviously a micro USB as well, great for file transfer, not for charging. Um, so I found that interesting that they chose their own proprietary sort of dock connector. You also see a bit of a ruggedized feel on this, it's got like a bit of a um, etching on there which is good for holding it, a bit, bit grippier as well. And when I take around the other side, just the buttons, they're quite hidden, you do really need to reach, sort of put your fingers in there to get them on, and uh, the speaker grills obviously as well. But yeah, quite thin, um, you know, really nice looking tablet. You'll notice already it's quite reflective, the, the, uh, the screen and the whole casing being plastic. You can see my fingerprints there. It's just amazing how much it shows the, the prints. But uh, when you are looking at it front on, obviously probably not on a camera because of the, the light behind me and things like that, but the screen actually is uh, one of the best that I've seen. Um, so really simple sort of Android, nothing that you probably haven't seen before. You'll see some of the apps here which are completely unique to, uh, to Sony. You know, things like Music Unlimited, Video Unlimited, that's their, um, their alternative iTunes for people who might be coming from an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, Reader, which is just for eBooks. So as an eBook reader, it's going to be quite good, obviously. You know, two pages per, per screen. Or when you turn it upright, it also goes into the one screen. Um, so social feeds, something I'm not a huge fan of. I do like to go into my Twitter and Facebook individually, but uh, it does it does the job if that's what you really want to use. Um, not again, not a huge huge fan. This app, the remote control app, is where I fell in love with this tablet. Now, as I mentioned before, I don't have a Sony TV. I have a Panasonic TV, and when I go into this, you'll see I can actually turn my TV on. Um, sorry, there's the on button, you know, volume, programs, go to the guide, menu, full nav. Now, these buttons I programmed myself. Now, I'll show you what I mean by this. Say, for example, I want to add a new remote. Easy registration is basically just next. What am I programming? TV, set-top boxes, DVD players, VCRs, home theaters, CD players, 
you name it, even iPod docs. I mean, these guys have really opened themselves up, projectors, the whole lot. And then for the manufacturer, you have a huge, 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 huge list of manufacturers to choose from, most of which I haven't even heard of. Look at this, Yapshi, Yokan, Yoko, never heard of them. And they are, they're supported. And then when you go next, you can choose how you want your remote to look. And uh, next again, name your TV, you know, choose how you want to do it, give it a bit of a test, change the icon for whatever device you're actually uh, programming, and that would be it. Now, because for some reason when I tried my Panasonic TV, it didn't work, so I went to learn a remote control. Now, I said, yes, it was a TV. And what you do is you actually get your TV remote, hold it at the front, and I say, this button, the volume up button, is, and then I push the volume up button, on the remote and it talks you all through it it's very simple so it can learn any remote in case it's not in its system as well so for the uh, for the TV that's what I had to do for the stereo on the other hand the stereo is a Sony stereo so I just basically you know selected stereo volume it's all here and it's just so simple and it took about five seconds to do and it freaks people out because it's just awesome so you can imagine adding in all of your home devices and uh, and just going in and controlling them all. Such a simple app and so smart. I really, I really commend Sony on doing that. I think it's just awesome. Um, this little thing called Select App, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of Sony's way of recommending things to you. Um, for the Android market, didn't used to have recommendations for tablets, so you were a little bit, oh, I don't really know which, what's a good app. And uh, Sony pieced this little website together for you. Not going to go into a lot of detail because the uh, Android market now has a section for tablets, you know, which has you know staff picks for tablets and so on. So there it is, there staff choices for tablets, and that's where I go to get my recommendations. Um, now you did see a peek of the menu there. It's quite different again. Um, it doesn't carry the background with it. It's got this white screen, and it kind of has a bit of a shimmy going across. And you can see it gives a 3D effect when it sort of stretches the apps and so on. Um, now the layout is, is quite different as well, you can sort of sort it alphabetically, newest or custom, which is the way I've got it now. And uh, you know the web browser is standard, the camera is uh, much of a muchness, it, you know it's, it's not a great camera anyway. So you know choose photo, video, um, high, low, YouTube style videos. And uh, choosing your front and back cameras, record and here's a recording I'd already done. Um, simple, simple camera. Let me just go back in here. Um, Crackle, quite a cool app if you haven't seen this before. It's really good for watching TV and uh, movies. It's all free. You just have to sign up and go ahead with it. And it's taken quite a while. There it is. Um, so yeah, you know, movies, shows, that's quite cool, I think. I think it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, Crash Bandicoot. Now this is the first PlayStation certified tablet. So if you are around from uh, PlayStation 1 days, you remember what this game was like. They haven't changed the graphics. It really is still PlayStation 1 style. And there it is right there. It just reminds you back of when I was a kid. And to be honest, it actually plays pretty well. Um, the load times almost feel like PlayStation 1 still. It just doesn't seem to get much faster. Um, so it really is the true PlayStation 1 experience again. You'll see the controls come up. Now you can actually Bluetooth a, uh, a your PlayStation control to this device if you wanted to do so. And then yeah, you can actually play it as if it's a real a real gaming tablet. Um, I'd love to see what other games they bring. You know, classics like V Rally, um, GTA, and stuff like that. I just want to see them back. So that would be really cool. Um, you know, as a cool feature to come come with. Bit of credit. I would love to show you the game. It's just so slow. So start. Yep. Just want to show you the gameplay just to show it that works. Uh, yeah, let's go. And it's loading, just like a PlayStation. I wish I could hear the disc going crazy. And uh, let's have a look. All right, come on. Don't expect me to be very good at this, but uh, yeah, you can sort of get the idea anyway. You know, it's, there you go. And straight out. Now you'll also notice I just hit the home button to exit. It's also running here in a frozen state, um, like what you see on, hello, there it is. Like what you'd see as any other multitasking. And I can just hit continue and I'm playing again. So it's kind of, I kind of like that. I think that's pretty cool. 
and I can quit. You can save progress as well, so that's kind of handy. So we'll see what else happens there. DLNA, now if you're watching video or sharing pictures or music, hit the DLNA, send it to a, a Sony TV or your PlayStation or any other DLNA equipped device. Um, email a standard file transfer is more for your SD card. So if you had um, something on the side here, you could transfer from one to the other. Uh, so that's quite, quite handy for pictures and, and video. Um, going back, Foursquare is standard, the gallery. Now the gallery is a little different. Um, so I want to show you the video because the video quality on this is just awesome. So let me just open up something here. This one, the sample videos. Actually, that one's boring. This one's got nicer colors. Uh, skip through. And it's just an amazing picture. When I watch this, it's just incredible. It, it, obviously, at home, it's not going to be doing you any justice. This truly is uh, an amazing screen. It, the, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to even help you understand. It's just so, so good. Um, and when I looked at pictures as well, side by side with other tablets, this one just had much better contrast, much better colors. Really, really impressive. Um, when I go into the music, you'll see their music app's a little bit different. No, not that one. That's the standard one. The Sony Music Player, of course. It is, again, slightly different. So you'll see a much nicer interface. Um, you know, when I go and cover up view, I can see, you know, albums that I've got going here. It's kind of cool. You know, I can just spin apps. It's, it's, it's just a nifty little thing. I think that I like that. Um, I keep going back too far. Marketplace contact st standard, standard, standard. Navigation as you'd expect. A pinball game which is kind of cool. I enjoyed that. Best game, best app in the world on this. Um, Wi-Fi checker for checking your internet which you'll have to do a lot because it doesn't have 3G built in. Zinio which is another app I recommend people get for magazines and things like that. You can subscribe. It's super, super great. And obviously I just want to put this app on here just to show, you know, you can get a TV guide app. So it is your remote. It's your TV guide. You can read the news. There's obviously a bunch of other apps in there as well and I just think that this tablet is just cool. Just cool. So I'm going to wrap up this right now. All right, guys, that's the, uh, that's, the, that's the first tablet from Sony, the first one that they've brought out, their first attempt, and I think they've made a really, really good job at it, you know. Albeit 16 gig, it could be a bit bigger, but uh, I'm not complaining. Um, Wi-Fi only, that's a bit of a shame, would rather 3G, but um, they're probably the only two main negative factors I can bring out of it. I really think that they've put together a nice, a nice tablet. It looks great. The features that, are, um, that they've added into this, like the remote feature, um, the way that they manage their DLNA, you really need to try it for yourself. The screen is incredible. The screen, you do need to see it to believe it. It's just an incredible colors, great depth. Um, I think they're really great features. I, I miss the fact it hasn't got a better camera on the front or on the back. I think it could be um, much improved. Um, the microphone is also mono only. I didn't mention that before. It's mono only, so the sound is poor if you actually you know, film something on there. It's not going to be great. So, you know, there, there are a few things which they can improve on, but, you know, when you look at what you're really going to use it for, um, I think this is a great tablet to sit on your coffee table and use around the home. You know, reading the news, controlling your home entertainment system, everything in your house um, with this, the, the big, the best universal remote you can buy. Um, this is just a cool, cool product. You know, view, view the TV guide, check the news, control everything. That's awesome. That is just awesome, and it's something that other tablets can't do. Um, you know, I think that's got a lot of potential. I really think that I really think Sony's put something together which is really quite good. And for the price point that you're at, it matches a lot of other tablets, and it's got a, a little bit extra in there. The SD card slot, which is a full SD card slot, so you take it straight from the camera, straight into your tablet. That's awesome. I don't know, there's a lot of things I love, there's some things that could be improved. Let me know what you think, hit me back with questions and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on it. Thanks for watching, I'll speak to you soon.